What's up guys, Pidget here. Almost 3k energy shield regen, over 70k energy shield, permanent flask up time even in boss fights without a mage blood, capped chaos resistance, just name a few. I can safely say, this is the tankiest character that ever played. The damage is amazing even in uber boss fights. Now we talking about damage, let's see what things we got on the damage side. Our skill choice is blade trap. You throw a trap and when it gets triggered it will using your weapon and start spinning around like cyclone, just trap version. This is why it's important what weapon we using and we need reach 100% accuracy rating. And Firal Edge unique weapon. This weapon has a few important stats that only exclusive to this weapon weapon. First and the most important part, attack with this weapon have added maximum lighting damage equal to 20% of maximum energy shield while also give us a tons of energy shield. This is why we need lots of energy shield to benefit from this. We can use free curse of our choice because we using the newest unique ring, Anathema. Our curse limit is equal to our maximum power charges. Every character can have free charges so we can add free curse to the build. It's up to you to go full offensive and use all the damage curves or use two damage and one defensive curves. I take the defensive route because I think we have enough damage even with two curves. So the offensive curses I'm using is the following. Elemental weakness and conductivity. You can add punishment as your third curse if you want more damage, but I like when we have good balance in offense and defense. On the defensive side, I have a really big surprise for you. Aspect of the crap. If you not use this aura before, like who even want that in the first place? This will give us crab barriers every half second and it will grant physical damage reduction per crab stack. But when we take a hit, we will lose all of the stacks. This is when come in handy or high evasion rate. Using race aura for evasion rating so we almost can die from the monsters basic attacks or projectiles. 100% spell suppression. This is coming from the tree and the unique boots odd series step. This will give us a huge chunk of spell suppression and evasion. A watcher eye with why affected by grace you have increased spell suppression. The really interesting part is our energy shield. Where is the 70k energy shield is coming from? Let's start with the biggest source. Our chest piece goes right. This chest alone gives us more than 7k energy shield because it will convert our maximum life to energy shield. From now we can scale our life and energy shield in the same time. This is why I have life and energy shield on every single piece of gear. We also so stacking intelligence to get more energy shield. I reached more than 800 intelligence. We achieving this int on every possible gear slot using a very cheap solution in our bed slot, Cyclopin Coil Unique Bed. This with good roll and attributes studies can give 18% increased attributes. Another big chunk of energy shield is coming from our amulet, Presence of Chayula. It will also convert our maximum life to energy shield. You may be already noticed we reserving a little less than 50% of our life. I'm using Arctic Armor with Origins, so I can become immune to freeze. Maybe you wonder, okay, we have that much energy shield, but what happens when we encountering with chaos damage? We just die? This is when another unique item came in, Ash Visage. Unique shield, chaos damage taken does not bypass our energy shield while not on low life. This is why I mentioned our spell that reserving life. In short, don't reserve more than 50% of your life and you will be safe from the chaos damage. I mentioned earlier, we have permanent flask uptime. We are achieving this with a few simple things. Maybe you wonder why I'm only using free flask, because I'm using the traitor keystone from a timeless javel. Gain 4 charges per empty flask slot every 5 seconds. Alone this is not enough to sustain our flask, we need quality up our flasks. With Hillock from the Betray Mechanic and you need at least 26 quality. You need him in research and he needs to be rank 3 to get this option. We have almost 3k energy shield regen. This is coming from our ascendancy. We get life regen when our traps are activated. This is why you see me sometimes just throwing traps even there is no enemy nearby. We converting this region to energy shield region with Zelot's Oats keystone. All life regen is applied to energy shield. I would like if you hit the like button like the shaper hitting the other so it can start spread to more people. 
Thank you! Few important things you need in the build, using a bunch of unique items. Let's start with our weapon, Amphiral Edge Unique Weapon. This weapon has a few important stats that only exclusive to this weapon. First, and the most important part, attack with this weapon have added maximum lighting damage equal to 20% of maximum energy shield, while also give us a tons of energy shield. Ash besides unique shield, chaos damage taken does not bypass our energy shield, why not on low light? Thanks to this shield, we can only have 600 light and not die to chaos damage. Ghost right unique body armor. This is the reason why we can scale our energy shield from our life, because this item converting our maximum life to energy shield by also give us a tons of chaos resistance. Aziri step unique boots. These give us pass suppression and life. Bunch of evasion rating. It's important to use this because we can't cap or spell suppression without this. Also at least 100 plus energy shield because we taking on the three evasion and energy shield mastery plus one to energy shield per eight evasion rating on boots. Presence of Chayula unique amulet. With this we cannot be stunned and converting our maximum life to energy shield and we anointing arcane focus for more energy shield. Anathema unique ring. With this ring we can use free curse in the build also give us int and a little bit of energy shield. Cyclopin coil unique bear because we stacking int this is a cheap option to get high int also it will help us to get the rest attributes requirement for our gear and gems worth to mention it also increase our damage with the lowest attributes we have the following implicits you can craft with the eldritch currency spam till you get the following on your gloves inflict lighting exposure on hit and while there is a nearby enemy increase trap throwing speed on your helmet physical damage taken from hit as cold but every Every other element is good and conductivity has increased curse effect. Also worth to mention we using a helm enchantment blade traps rotates plus one times. Also we have aspect of crap skill on this item. You can apply this mod from blood altar in the menagerie. Flasks we using is a sapphire, topaz and a ruby flask. You need the following mod on the flask. The order it doesn't matter. Only one mod needs to be present on all of the flasks. Increase charge recovery and you need the highest tier, nearly 50%. When you crafting your flasks, pay attention because there is a hybrid mod that also charge recovery but you will get less flask effect. The sub mod is the following. Regenerate 3% life during the effect. You can get this mod from the bitray mechanic when unveiling flask. Reduce mana cost of skills during effect. I'm using additional elemental resistance during effect because it was hard to get the resistance cap. But if you can be resistance capped without this, you can go evasion rating during effect. I just want to highlight a few things on the passive tree that you need for the build. Using 8 passive cluster Javel with Smite the Weak, Advanced Guard and Veteran Defender, 4 point medium cluster Javel with Set and Forget and Guerry Tactics. Energy from within unique Javel in this spot. This Javel will convert all life node to energy shield. Brutal Restraint Timeless Javel with this line denoted service of Dekhara in the Akhara of Balbala. This will give us the Traitor Keystone. A Watcher Eye with gain maximum mana as extra energy shield and by affected by grace you have increased spell suppression. If you can't fight this combination or it's too expensive for you, you only need the spell suppression by affected by grace. Taking Saboteur as or ascendancy. The notables in order are the following. In your first lap, you take perfect crime because our mana cost in the early stages is high. This help sustain our mana also give us extra damage. Second lap, we take chain reaction. It will increase the blade trap area effect so it can hit bigger area and can overlap on bigger enemies. Third lap, you will take Pyromaniac. This is what I'm really like in this ascendancy. You will get health regen and you will be immune to shock and ignite. When you complete your rebel lab, take Born in the Shadow. This is our defensive part. You will take less damage from the blinded enemies while nearby enemies also blinded. Gem and Gemling starting with our maining in our body armor, Divenger Blade Trap, Awakened Elemental Focus, Inspiration, Swift Assembly, Weekend elemental damage and drop and mind damage support. When you're doing maps, switch out the swift assembly support to cluster trap support. In our weapon, arrogance with arctic armor and enlighten level 3. In our gloves, or curse setup, elemental weakness, arcanist brand, anomalous conductivity and enfeeble. In our boots, faster casting, flame dash, 
precision and clarity. In our shield, increased duration, beer trap and immortal call. In our helmet, summon skitter bots, discipline, grace and enlighten level 3. I hope you enjoyed this video about blade trap saboteur. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching guys, I was Bridget and see you next time.